Breaker broke 2 3. I want to show you guys something on the back of these digital display boards on these TSA 50s. It's kind of interesting. Kenwood uses like a hole through type technology. When they want to pass, say, uh, a, a signal or voltage from one side of the board to the other, they have these little these little holes right here. Okay? And sometimes they go to something, to another trace on the other side, sometimes they don't. When these capacitors leak on here, as you found on these other videos, that um, they leave uh, a fluid behind that eats through the, the PC board. It kind of etches the board out. And so what I did is I went through and I replaced all these capacitors here. The problem still didn't go away. So I started looking for broken traces, you know, where the fluid was. Really didn't find any traces that were broken. But what I did find here is on these hole throughs, um, they want them, you want them nice and shiny here, copperish. And if they're not 100%, at least make sure a good portion of it is. What I found over here was I had a nice clean hole through over here, but this next one here next to this capacitor was actually eaten through. Uh, you don't really see it with like a, um, like a magnifying glass and a bright light or anything like that. But what I did is I took my knife and I started scraping away here so very gently so I could make another you know clean connection here. And I found that actually just after on the other side, just right next to the hole, let's say, the board was actually eaten away. It was a micro fine um, gap between the actual hole through and the little this little micro trace. So what you want to do here is take a, a small wire. I used a little tiny piece of Cat5 wire, and I poked through this hole, this hole. I soldered this one up on both sides, and I could only get this one to solder through on the other on the under side. And and I'll flip it over here real quick. And what I did is I came back through here. So what it was was the connection from here to pin three on the on on connector one was actually broken. And we we made that connection. Now the current can pass through this little trace that goes underneath these three uh, resistor uh, capacitor resistor uh, components over here to L2. By doing that, brought back my display. Also, uh, C16, which was a 0.1 something uh, on the manual, uh, it doesn't say whether it's microfarad or picofarad. I just went with microfarad, and um, this had to be replaced. Um, this was all charred up and everything, and um, I don't know if the fluid from the caps got to it or if it was just a defective component, but I also replaced that. It is a little chip type cap just like this one. Uh, I can't get them up here. I live cut out in the boonies, so I just put a disc cap in here. And I now have a working TS850 display. Also, by the way, go through the carrier board here. This is in the radio itself here. Replace all these caps. These caps were all leaking. This big 47 microfarad here was really bad. And I had to fix a trace on this board here, too. This board doesn't really affect the LCD board that much. And um, what I did is I actually replaced the caps on the LCD board first, got nothing, replaced these caps, condition still didn't change. So I actually unplugged this ribbon cable to just take this board out of line, and it didn't change either. So I went back here and... Uh, found this actually, this little hairline fracture. All right, I hope that helps. Have a good one.